Hey everyone, I hope you're hanging in there. I have now been sheltering in place for an entire month. 30 days of being home and spending a little too much time online. Did you know internet usage is already up by 50% in large parts of the world? At UNICEF, we've been looking at how this affects children as they take to their phones and laptops to stay connected, learn and entertain themselves they are at an increased risk of online harassment, sexual abuse, and exploitation. The coronavirus pandemic has created a perfect storm for online predators to lure children who are lonely, confused, and maybe looking for validation. So how can we keep them safe as their lives shrink to their screens? It's not easy to navigate the dangers the internet can pose on a normal day, let alone when facing a health crisis of this scale. Let me start by saying this. The most important safety measure is open conversations with your children. Talk to them about what's going on in their lives online and who they're engaging with. Work with your children to establish rules on how long they can be online and encourage daily activities that do not require screens. Get them up and moving. Check that your child's device is running the latest software and antivirus programs and that privacy settings are on. Keep webcams covered when not in use. If you have younger children, set up parental controls and use tools like Safe Search on Google. Help your child learn to keep personal information private, especially from strangers. Your child should never have to provide a photo or their full name to use learning resources online. Watch out for signs of distress in your children, such as becoming withdrawn, upset, secretive or depressed. It might be connected with their increased online activity. Be familiar with their school's safeguarding and bullying policies and have the phone numbers of support helplines and hotlines handy to report cyberbullying or inappropriate content. So remain alert, keep the open conversations going, and let me know if you found these tips helpful in the comment section below. Stay safe.